I hope I can read this properly. We're rolling? Yes, sir. Sizo, are you happy? Yes, sir. Shout out to EXO in the back. Tiboko Kibine. So this is not an official um, episode. I want us to discuss politics. I hope that's fine. I want to go through some stats and I'm going to try and go through them as slowly as possible for you to wrap your head around and for the viewers to wrap their head around because I want us to have these conversations around politics in a political year and unpack as much of politics as possible and educate ourselves as much as possible because if we're fully up to scratch with what's happening and we record it, hopefully people will learn. Yeah. I'm going to do the 2019 national elections results in South Africa and then I'm going to do the 2021 local. Is that fine? Yeah. Because there's a... Yeah, the, the, the reason the, I do the local is because there are people that assume that the local were like a precursor to what's coming. Let me start with 2019. Yeah, it's like the World Cup and the one that comes before. What is it called? Qualifiers. Yeah. Anyways, so at the last at the last national elections in 2019, yeah. there were 17.4 million voters. 17.4 million. Out of 26.7 eligible million registered. Registered. Okay? Yeah. Out of a potential 40 million people aged over 18. Yeah. So 40 million over 18 of the 40 million 26 million registered and then uh, 17.4 million voted that's very important out of the 26 out of the 26 registered 17 yeah. million we've got 62 million South Africans so let me just do a quick you even know if those 62 are actually South Africans <laughs> we never know about 17 divided by 62 27 percent of the country of everyone living in South Africa including children 27% are the people that voted. Mm. So less than 30%. Mm. But to be more accurate, because we have to exclude the kids, 42% yeah. of eligible voters voters voted, not even 50%. I'm not going to go into how many political parties were there, but let's just say 50 yeah. for ease, for people to understand. 17 million. Let's hold on to 17 million. And I'm going to go through the top one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go through the top six parties. Six. Top six. I'm doing them on purpose, top six. Okay. Um, why am I doing that? Top, top six, six when? In 2023, 2019. 2020, or 2019. 2019. Okay. 2019. The reason I'm doing the top six is because when you look at the number of seats they got, from number seven, it's two seats. Which is like, what, 75,000 a seat, ne? 75,000 people must vote for Let's say you. about 45,000. So number seven got 78,000 votes last time. But that's not important. Not two seven. seats, two seats going down and then one seat, one seat and then zero seats. Yeah. So I'm going, number six has got four seats. Number six. Out of 400, a parliament. Because mm. that's what we're voting for. And Which I is 160,000 people voted for you. For you to get four seats. If, we, if we're doing it at 14. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the number because... There's a bit of leeway that they give. Okay. Like, oh, UTM and those guys got extra seats when they actually didn't really meet the threshold. I'm not sure how they cal calculate. Whoever has the know-how will educate us in the comments. or sure. Maybe we'll get some political fundi to explain. But those are nitty-gritties that, to me, are not too important oh, okay. sure. for the average man. Yeah. So I'm doing a top six because for me, top six, you have four seats out of 400. Masi vote, Atina, si vote, on those chairs. Yes. That's more, maybe the most simplest way to explain to an ordinary person. Yeah. You are voting. Yes, they'll say you're voting for who will govern, who will rule, the lawmakers. What? No. You're voting for 400 individual human beings to sit on palms. Yeah. There. And those 400 human beings are meant to sit and decide on what's best for the country. Yeah. Not their political party, not for the poor, not for the rich, for the country. Yeah. Unfortunately, of those people, some do favor their political party. Some favor the poor. Some favor the rich. Some favor whites. Some favor blacks. But, but in, in, but in its purest form, you have to put the country first because you are voting for the people that want to govern the country. Or oh, that's, yeah, that's That's what it's meant to be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Top six, 400 seats. Yeah. 
At number six, we've got the African Christian Democratic Party, ACDP. Four seats. At number five, top five. At number five, the Freedom Front Plus, Yamapun. Yeah. How VF many Plus in Afrikaans. Freights, phone, something. Freedom Front Plus. It's the Freights. What's front in Afrikaans? Ah, it's bad. Whatever it is. It's 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 VF huh? Plus. Four. No, it's not four. Four faith. It's the... Fair four. Four vote. Oh, sorry. Got the internet. Anyways, no man. It's not too important. Let's let's keep it let's keep it English for easy. It's VF plus yeah. African. How many seats? Freedom That's what's interesting for me. Ten out of four hundred. Okay. The Freedom Front, largely white Africans. They've got ten seats in Parliament where they sit. About Mulder and those guys when they get up because he loves speaking African. I think Ukrunavald or Mul. I think Ukrunavald. Uh, Anchanama Spreaker. I don't know if you've ever heard him with the white hair. Uh, Julius Malema. What what? Ten seats. That's okay. I'm trying to do the calculations. Those are 200,000. You want the numbers because you're a numbers yep. guy. Okay. I'll give you the okay. numbers. Okay. But okay. No, no. I don't sure. want to throw them off. Okay. okay. So, number six has got 146,000 votes mm. out of 17 million. Mm -hmm. Number five has got 414,000 votes. Yeah. Freedom Front Plus, 10 yeah. seats, yeah. 414,000. Number four, Inkata Freedom Party, the AFP, 588,000 uh, votes, <laughs> not views. 14 seats. Yeah, yeah. It, could, so it is, yeah. Freedom Front 10, IFP 14. Yeah. I think who Chief Mangosutu Teles was still alive at, the, at this time because he passed away last year, I think. Mm. That's the top four. four. Now, if you look at the top, uh, top six, sorry. If you look at the top six, 146,000, 414,000, 588,000. These are small numbers. This is not even a million mm. of the 17 million. Mm. The top three, Baba, I'm going to combine their numbers here for you before I read them. Over 15 million mm -hmm. votes for the top three mm -hmm. out of 17 million. So two meter went to the rest. To the rest. Ew. And let's forget two meter because of the, yeah. the other three that I told you, that's, uh, that's one meter. So the, the rest, rest of the parties were mm -hmm. chewing one From meter. number seven, going there. Yeah, I want to go to. Sorry, I apologize for doing this, but I want to go to some parties that were a bit more popular. You've got uh, uh, PA, Gaten McKenzie, it was his first time running there. Mm. They got 6,600 votes. They way down, no seats. Yeah, no seats. Really. Then you've got, I'm only speaking about the ones that are popular in the streets. Uh, Azapo, El Kumbuli Azapo. Azanian People's yeah. Organization, 12,800. Yeah. Achang, Mampela Rampele. Yeah, but when she was kissing Helen, Helen, Helen Zilla. Zilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13,800 yeah. votes. Um, that was after the kiss, ne? The kiss happened way yeah, before, ne? Oh, yeah. Andile Mnitama, PLF, Black First, Land First, 19,700. Oh, shame. He couldn't even get a seat. Mm. I see now he might be working with Tom Sholos at the MK. And he's a popular political voice. Pan-Africanist, black consciousness, etc. 19,800. So he was short cut 20 dollars to get a seat. That's kind of impressive, isn't it? No. People think thought, so for, for people one seat. Thought, the fact that he couldn't get one seat when he's like, I'm here for the land of black people. Twitter. And, and as a, I also need to emphasize, as a, as a popular political voice. Yeah. Because he's popular. Wendy Lemmy is popular. On Twitter. Ha. Huh. No, so no, 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 no. But here's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Maybe let me clarify because hey, now people are going to be attacking us here. So I mean, okay, you want to? I wanted to go back to okay. this thing of 400 seats. Okay. I just a note. Because I, need I can, to clarify I can that. tell you if we go to the average South African, yeah. they don't know most of those people sitting on those seats. Yes. Whereas Uandile could have been one of them because by a mass. I don't know if that makes sense. I get you. So we can speak to Tuzani Zuma, Chris Papas, Vusi Tembegwayo, Somizi. We can speak Tira. We can speak... Uh, who else is cool in this country? Caspanio Vest. People that are known. Yeah. And I'm saying Andile Mngutama is known. The other 400 people in parliament are not known. That, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that's making sense. I get you. Because there might be people that but actually there's a think Andile is part of government when he's not. Yeah, but there's a long standing of ideology that's been driven, you know, for these people. Like people vote because of ANC because of... My grandfather, no, okay. my, my, you that's know. Okay. So, Abandile, I would argue they're more famous on 
the socials more than actual reality. Let me, I, let me, let me I do think. this for you. I said 19,800 divided by 17,400. You know what it's, it's like what? 0,1% yeah. yeah. of people voted. You know it's like what? If we're to go with Twitter polls, EFF must be in government. By far. Exactly. Anyway, exactly. so, now so you get Andile, um, very tragic. The PAC, Pan Africanist mm. Congress, yeah, Robert uh, 32,600. They couldn't even get a seat. Or oh, they got one seat. This is where they were being considered. Mm. They've got one seat. Ikop, Yambazi Mashiloa, no, no, Musi Terra. Terra. 47,461. One seat. They were gifted a seat. They've got two seats, even though they should only have one. Um, and they're killing each other for that seat. A good party, yeah, Mamu Patricia Delo. 70,400, two seats. Uvuyo Zungula, who we've had here. Yeah. The ATM, African Transformation Movement, 76,000, two, two seats. UTM, Yabantu Olomisa. UTM, just Gadget. They're the number seven party. So they seven, the ATM is eight. Yeah. The United Democratic Movement, 78,000 votes. Just 2,000 more than the ATM, which was a, a new kid on the block, by the way. Yeah. Two seats. So th that's important. Now I'm going to the top three. Sure. This is important because we use history, because we, we're forecasting now for what's going to be coming in 2024. At number three comes the most popular uh, political party on Twitter, the Economic Freedom Fighters, mm. who have arguably the most popular political leader outside uh, of a president being Julius Malema. So they got 1.8 million of the 17 million. So it's almost 10% mm. of the votes. They got how many? 1.8 million sure. votes, which gave them 44 seats. Ngozi, yeah. Shibambu, Gadi, yeah. Mamkaula. I think Uring was sat in parliament at oh. some point. Uh, they had Ufana Mkwena, all those people. They fall under this 44. Economic freedom fighters. So we were looking at 146,000, 414,588,000. And these are human beings that are voting for these parties because they believe. Mm. You can be like, I'm a proud Zulu, but it only came up to 588,000, of which I think there's 18 million Zulus in South Africa. Mm. The EFF got 1.8 million. I think it was their second elections, if I'm not mistaken. And then it jumps from 1.8 to the Democratic Alliance. Yeah, because it was... That still was a 10, 10 day anniversary. They were formed in 2013, ne? EFF, ne? I'm not sure. Ne? We can always check. Yeah, 2013. Then the launch yeah, they were celebrating Americana. 10 years. Yeah, yeah. July, July 2013. Yeah. It jumps from 1.8 million to 3.6. With DA. With the DA. <laughs> the reason I have to emphasize this is because we just <laughs> spoke about <laughs> how all the other parties outside of the top six come up to you. You said 2 million or 1 million. One. Sorry. After the, the, top seven. Six, the top six. The bottom half, mm. number four, five, six, are one million. Yeah, and I'm telling you, it jumps from one point eight to three point six, which, which is um, one point eight. If my maths is not mistaken, it's, it's double. It's double. Double the EFF's numbers, yeah. of which look, the DA has been around for long. They've yeah. been the official opposition. They had Musi Maimani as their face at yeah. that time. Yeah. This is going to be the first time they have John Stianese. Three point six million votes which has given the DA 84 seats. 84. Mm. From 3.6, we jump to <laughs> 10 million out of 17. Yeah. It's, it's like a... Yeah, no, we're no, we're no, not no. competing. Yeah, no. No way. There's and the no ANC conversation. Came, African National Congress comes up to 230. This, this I need to emphasize because we keep speaking about a coalition and 2024 is our next 94. If you look at the last elections, if all the other political parties decided to gang together and say, we will fight the ANC, they would only come up to 7 million. So it means they would still see flames to 10 million. So they need about an extra 3, 4 million people to vote for them so that they can be almost a coalition. For even for us to even have the discussion. So if you're going from DA at 3, 3.8 to 10, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of people. Eh? So people need to understand that let, let's say this year, it's a bumper year. Everyone wants to vote. And we get to 20 million people. Mm. Half of 20 million is 10 million. So if you are fighting the ANC, you want the ANC to get just under 10 million votes. Mm. But you're hoping that the other just above 10 million voters are not going, or the political parties are not going to give their votes to the ANC. Yeah. 
But either way, ANC can't run the country on its own. It's going to have to get into a deal with someone. Mm. That's what people are hoping for. Mm. So even back then at 17 million, you would have needed uh, eight and a half. You would have needed the ANC to get below eight and a half million. And then for the other the parties other ones too. too. So that's 2019. Yeah. Cyril Ramaphosa became president. The official opposition was the DA, Musi Maimani. Julius Malema was the leader of the opposition in terms of uh, the EFF. We have Chief Mangosuchu Mtelezi, Peter Grunewald of the Freedom Front Plus, and Kenneth Mshwe of the ACTP. Yeah. So the FFV, FV Plus is the Freight's Front. Front. I was almost right. Freight's Front Plus, a right-wing political party, uh, Afrikaans, led by Peter Grunewald, with the chief whip being Corne Mulder. Corne Mulder. So we fast forward two years to 2021, and now we do local elections, of which many South Africans don't take them seriously, sadly. From 17 million voters, we go to 11 million. Yo, a whole six. Yeah, because, because people, people don't really take those local... People love the national. That's where it's pumping. Mm. So you lost six million there. Uh, a lot of parties there, a lot of independent candidates. Because now what are we voting for? We're voting for... At national, we vote for the 400 seats in parliament. And then you vote for your province, however many seats your poli- your provincial legislature has. Yeah. Uh, people need to understand parliament is like the main body. And then every province has its own parliament. Yeah. The provincial legislature where you have your own person who's running there. And then it comes down and every town has got its own municipal with your mayor, municipal manager and those municipal people. Councilors, yeah. And then, it, and then the next step is your ward. So when we're voting local, you're voting for who's going to run your city or your town. And you vote for your ward councillor, that representative, who when you have an issue in your home, you're meant to start there. Yeah. Before you go to Ramaphosa or the Minister of Transport, you're meant to start here mm. and get it sorted. And then they meant to go to municipality, get a MMC and those guys to, and then it's meant to go up to province, about MEC and what what, and then it's meant to go to national with the members of parliament. Uh, let me see how I'm doing this. Because the the this this election. I struggle to understand because it's complicated. The results here and how they complicate, how they give them and they give seats is not like national. Yeah. And I'm not the person to explain it, but maybe we can do research and find out. But we need to understand what that means. But those are not the elections coming now. Yeah. The reason I'm reading them now is because people were saying these elections are giving us a snapshot of what we could expect in 2024. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go into the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Top 8. Yeah. Top 8. 11 million voters. At number 8, we've got the ACDP. Number 8. Now they're not number 6. Number 8 at 92,000 votes. They've moved down. Yeah. So if ever this reflects what's going to happen now, ACDP is going to move from number 6 to number 8. At number 7... There were newcomers in parliament at the time, or they didn't get into parliament, but in elections with 6,600. The Patriotic Alliance got 111,000 votes. Compared to, what was the? That's 6,000 votes yeah. at the national. And from that time to local, which look, again, it's ward and municipal. Mm. It's not national. Mm. It's not there. 111,000, of which now some people are going to be like, but if these 111,000 people are happy at ward and at muni- municipal yeah why wouldn't they transfer their vote to national and provincial sure that's number seven number six uh they weren't new were they new who's that no they were they were new action essay comes in yeah, new, new. 241,000. so again we're speaking these guys were not in the top six they were no way mm. action essay didn't exist the pa was somewhere far away coming in with 241,000. These are the numbers now that we were looking at with Abo, ACTP, IF, IO, IFP, yeah, Abo, Freedom right. Front at 400, 500, whatever. From action, it goes to uh, Freedom Front Plus. I'm a poon. The number 276,000. Number? That is number six. Number six. Yeah. Number five. Am I counting? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. No, number five. Number Sorry. five. I said top eight. Let's go one, to seven. Because now it's four, it's linking five, six, to seven, the national. Did I forget someone? ACTP at number eight, 92,000. Patriotic Alliance, Alliance at seven, at 111. Action SA at number six. Mm. Yeah. Action SA number six, 241,000. Freedom Front Plus at number five. 
276. So mm. the top five here is similar to the previous one. Yeah. Well, the difference is with Action SA and Patriotic yeah, that and point they link. So we've got the same ANC, DA, yeah. EFF, IFP, Freedom Front in the top five. Freedom Front, Inkata Freedom Party gets more votes than they did at national. national. 638,000 from 588. Mm. The EFF from 1.8 million is at one point, almost two. But again, we speak about 11 million people versus 17. The Democratic Alliance, where the EFF got 1.2 million, they've got 2.5 mm. million. And then the ANC comes in at 5.2 million voters, of which if, if it's 11, this is now where, for people to understand, when we speak about the coalitions in Joburg, the coalitions in Tswane, yeah, coalitions in Nelson Mandela Bay, it's because of these things. Because here, of 11, uh, you, you, you want to get five and a half. For you to be fully. To fully. Yeah. Uh, but also it depends on the municipality and whatnot, because you, you split it down. Mm. Because you might find the ANC got 5.3 million overall, mm. but in Joburg, if let's say our voters of these 11 million were 3 million, maybe they only got 1 million votes. Sure. So they didn't even get 1.5 million. Mm. So now they have to fight with the DA, EFF, which was a kingmaker here. Does it break down the seats there in Le Naida? So this is what I was trying to explain. This one is very complicated because it's got a, a percentage for wards. It's got a percentage for PR. It's, there's something <laughs> proportional representation. Mm. Ward plus PR. There's something called DC. Oh, this one needs explanation. Okay. Particularly because just because the ANC got 45%, if we count all, because it's split as municipality and ward, it almost doesn't matter. Yeah. In parliament at the top, if the ANC gets the majority, it's the majority of all South Africa. EDA in the Western Cape needs to ask for permission. From, from the national, yeah. But if EDA is winning uh, a municipality and award, in that regard, they, they don't need to ask the ANC for anything. They just, you give them the money, then they decide what they want to do with the money. But they'll still get it from the, the ANC. The fact that the ANC got these votes here overall doesn't matter there. Because it's like, here it's a DA ward. Mm. It's still right DA. Here it's a DA municipality. Yeah. The municipality then can start complaining if they're like, but the province is ANC and we're seeing flames. And the province is saying, Ish, as much as we're a DA province, the ANC is in the budget. Yeah. But here, you almost don't need to worry about ANC. The majority in the Eastern Cape, and you deal with those things there. So, so this is where the conversation starts for me yeah. to have this picture of, of where we're going with... Action SA and the PA being new, new kids on the block. I spoke about the UTM, the ne, ne, ne ATM. The UTM here is number 9, 10, 11, 12. It's number 12 here. And the ATM is number mm. 9 after ACTP. Um, who are you voting for and why? I still don't know. Me? You're asking me? I, I still don't know. I might not vote. But that's, I still don't that's, know. That's irresponsible. Yeah, it's fine. No, I, I, I don't know. No, I'm go definitely going to vote. But I do You're not definitely know. Gonna vote. Yeah, I'm going to vote. But I don't know who I'm going to vote for. What are your top two, top three parties? You know, for the past... I voted for the EFF in 2019. Sorry, maybe I must add my... No, no, I'll, I'll add mine after you. Yeah, no, yeah. I also did the last... The other elections, national. I split. I went One of them, I went EFF. Provincial, I went ANC. I'm not sure, but I split them. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think the, the ANC was David Makura. Was yeah, that time. candidate uh, provincially. Yeah, because only left. I think Umandisa was with the EFF at yeah. that time. She was the provincial candidate for yeah. EFF. Because Makura left last year. Now it's Panyaz again. I just sure. speak about uh, the GPG. Yeah, that, that was my split. I'm not sure this year. The past two, three months, I've just been going through my own stuff, man. I just really wasn't thinking a lot about politics. Did, did I you think vote I've at the local it. election? Local elections. 2021. Is it the EFF or ANC? One of the you two. You did vote. Yeah. One of it's the two. two votes as well, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah, one of the two. I mean, all my, my, I've always voted ANC and then the EFF came through, then I split them. Sure. So I definitely went EFF or ANC uh, win with the local one. They're still your top two favorite parties. You know, the, the, the thing about voting national is the whole thing of, it's almost like you're voting for ideology. It is this ideology thing for me. Um, and I think it's a flaw. It should be based on, almost on 
what have the people achieved um, as a as a as a political party? You know, it's it's a. I'm not clear cut fundy one. I'm very confused this year. I think that is the most confused I am who to vote for. Would you than vote ever for the before? ANC? Just a possibility, which you know, Antoine, there's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance. That you vote ANC. Yeah, there's a chance. Ramaphosa. There's a chance, yeah. And there's EFF a chance. As well. 100% chance as well. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 you know, the new guys, you know, it's what I always speak about, man. It's, 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 it's tough to. Shannon Kleber keeps on saying it. You know, when you always hope, you're always hoping that this thing changes. But I don't. Mkabo. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've invited about. him. I've invited him here a couple of times. Yeah. I hope at some point he comes. But if he doesn't, ah, because he was at Mashabela recently. Oh, sure. Yeah, it speaks about you know prisoners of hope. You know why they vote for the uh, uh, ANC. But I'm not there that that hope thing. I'm not sure. I don't know who I'm gonna vote for. I'm very confused this year than ever which, before. Which which party outside of who you're voting for? Mm -hmm. Which party looks like it works the hardest? Not the looks. Best. Looks like it works the hardest. That's <laughs> fun. No, there isn't, man. Pen, and I'll tell you why. I Not don't. I don't. Someone uh, has to look like they're doing more spawns. Yeah, I mean, I'm, for example, uh, when there's racism, we all know which party shows up. If someone says the there was EFF, a racist Baba, incident at the school, they don't play. There was racism at the workplace. Yeah, it's the EFF. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mind yeah. you, in terms of other things, community cleanup, I want to that are campaigning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who looks like? Looks like. You know the people that look like, and you say look like, you must remember, I'm, I'm thinking of what has been written about them and what we see on social media. Oh, not your own, what you've seen. No, not what I've seen with my eyes, you know. You see, Ulax and EFF, they were a thing of we're doing something. They've Ulax, got, so it's a problem. Yeah, they look like, no, Tina, we're actually doing something. I mean, last now the schools opened last week. They were there in the schools. Like, they were fine. Last was the last one. Yeah, last. So it's a problem. Yeah, you know. So it's, it's a... And he's not in politics. Yeah, currently. I respect people who show you the blueprint. Like, guys, this is what we can do at a very small scale. It is cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if you vote for us, we can take it. Like, because I don't, SA doesn't need more political parties. We need people they who... They don't even make sense. Because they, if you look at the votes, it's like they're wasting everyone's yeah, time. You know, we, we don't need any political parties. We need an individual, or people that can come together, actually, like, look, this is what we want to change. Let's come together. Let's do it. So most of these people that are opening political parties, I'm like, I don't understand... If you couldn't do it at a small scale, mm. why should we vote for you? I mean, if you think about the ANC, in all honesty, those guys have never run Tembisa. And we're like, Amen, ah, we'll vote for you. We can see the work. We, we, are, we saw the work of uh, before, killings and bombings and fighting the system. But you actually haven't run a municipality. But RDPs? The same visa fits, aren't they new roads? No, 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 no. You're correct. My toilet, you're correct. New school, my clinic, our cook, our bona. Yeah, you're correct. But over time, do you can you scale this country over time? Can you make sure that whatever the people actually want, sure. they can get it? Because if you really think of people are just fighting for water, water, electricity. I saw I'm not saw, fighting I for huge story, things. I saw a story in Durban, uh, Verulam. I've got family that lives there. They were closing the streets because they don't have water. Someone was telling me that water cuts somewhere yeah. as well. So in, over time, that's what we're saying. You did what you did and it, it, it works. We love it. Like, we have it. But now, what is it that can be done now? Especially because now we're hearing other stories. No, coal is being sent out of the country. What if what? So it's like, over time, should we still believe in you? Mm. Over time. Sure. Because a leader, I'm someone that comes in and says, I can change the situation. We, we've seen what you've done. It's cool. But sure. right now, we've got this issue now here. Sure. What is it that you can do now? Then now we're not getting those answers. That's the problem. Um, so at the last national elections, I voted for the economic freedom fighters. Yeah. Uh, I was and I still am a fan of Julius Malema. Yeah. Contrary to what people think of me on social media, it's fine. Who Julius referred to the type of energy and fire he brought at the ANC Youth League ah. is something that our generation hadn't seen. Because a lot of us were born towards the end of apartheid. We heard stories of all Mandela. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those guys had been jailed, to be fully honest. They only were released more 1990 in those times. So then we got to see them and we saw old people. Mm. So in our generation, from that point, we've had youth league presidents. Figil Mbalula, Malusi Kikaba, who was looking promising at some point. I can't think of others. Uh, mm -hmm. Ronald Lamu, you know, he was never a youth league president, but he was a, he was a leader there. And then Lomchita Tebembizang Oros, I'm not sure of his name. You know? Oh, Popumpo. I think he's lost weight as well, so oh. shout out to him. 
Patu Julius. Ah, baba. Hey. The the fire inspired so many of us to be brave as young people as young people even speaking to our own elders yeah. when he was called disrespectful and it's like I'm not disrespectful you guys promised us these things mm. and now you're not delivering <laughs> and you want them yeah. you know what I mean um, and when he set up the EFF it was, it was a great move it was a sad move because the ANC expelled a loyal servant who was just fighting for the things that they promised him nationalization free education and those kind of things um, the other reason I voted for the EFF is because around that same time Many of us were saying, to this day, we need young people in parliament. Yeah. And they were the only party that I saw that was aggressively saying, we will put young people in parliament. Yeah. And at the elections before that, they started bringing young people. And I was like, I can see them doing it. Mm. I want young people, so I'm going to give them more votes to bring in more young people. Mm. And if you look at what the EFF did in parliament, they made parliament worth watching. I don't think we any went political into politics. party had ever gotten, yeah. gotten us to, to understand things like point of order, in hindsight, honorable man. Yeah. We literally watched as if we're watching anything else yeah. and we got to learn. Mm. And we also got to see some of the rubbish. Yes, yeah, citizens got now interested in actual politics. Yes. It may not be at the highest level, but they could tune in to hear it. Like, what is the EFF going to sure. say? Because even if you're tuning in... Substantive motion. Yeah, Donna, even if you tune in for six hours and you get something in 80 minutes, it hits you. Because now you're like, okay, okay, this is politics. Like, why must they dress like this? Sure. There's no legislature or any law that says you must dress like... A certain like way. Yeah, they came there with their overalls yeah, they're like, and their no. domestic work outfits. Because now you're now... It's almost like you're starting to... People are now are getting this education in jail. You know, that's one thing that will always... I will always be fond of the EFF, man. Hmm. That people that I never thought are going to be love politics or even speak about politics sure. started speaking about it in jail. And, and it was a form of decolonization. Getting... Yeah. getting us, uh, it was a gimmick, it was a brand, but it means a lot to people to be like, we are dressed in the clothing of the people we represent. That speaks volumes. Yeah. We're not here in a suit and a tie yeah. as if we're representing the business class of wherever. Yeah. It's the ordinary men and women yeah. on the streets. I, that was really powerful. So I voted for them then. Yeah. Um, also provincially, I voted for Makura. At the time, I didn't know who Mandisa Mashiko was and mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not going to vote for someone I don't know. What happens if they ended up end up winning? It would only be a year or two after that I saw some of the work she'd done fighting in Alex against what they call the Alex Mafia. Abu Paul Mashatile, mm. the deputy president of, no. the, of the country mm. and the ANC now. Uh, Abu Lebohang Maile. Uh, there's another guy from Alex. Mm. Anyways, those guys. Is it, is it Masina? Mm, Masina, no, as Alex. I don't, I don't know where he's from, but I, there's an Alex Mafia. Yeah. They known as the Alex yeah. Mafia. The the fighting for the people there and the services and Ottawa that was pretty great. I'm like, you know, if I'd known this lady before, you would have. I would have voted because Umakura for me was a bit boring. I didn't know much for him. Apparently, he's a good guy. He's done good work. Um, then you fast forward to 2021 and from 2019 to then and to now, the way the EFF has moved has disappointed me. Okay. Um, a lot of the things I loved about them, I still love about them. Even today. When people have racist incidents, when people are frustrated, when they people want a militant black voice, you look at Lumfanwaga Tambo, who's there, you know, young guy. These are, as an oppressed black child, yeah. they feel like they're speaking for you. Mm. I don't expect Cyril for a black child that's struggling, suffering, to come and speak on their behalf. I expect him to be diplomatic, to try and understand the white side... All and sides, and the black side. Look, we're sorry, we're working on. He's a president, but the EFF is like this is a poor black child that you are oppressing here. You can't come and think this is your country. You don't run this country anymore. We have struggled. My parents have struggled. They used to clean your houses, and you're coming to give us nonsense. Mm. You're like this person gives a black child yeah. confidence. Yeah, they get to go out into the streets and be like, come back. I'm, I'm going to call the EFF here. Mm. And you people get scared. <laughs> and that's a real thing. And it, yeah, it means something. And I think a lot of white people, whether they're racist or not, whether they think the EFF is dodgy or not, they need to understand how important it is for people who lost their dignity to have people that feel like they speak for them. Mm. Because the NC doesn't do that. It's one of the reasons people loved Zuma. Zuma sounded ah, like he was speaking on behalf of people. Because when, when rich people here or elsewhere were speaking, it'd be like, no. Yeah. And you're like, you realize this person speaking to us. But we can't hear him. Yeah, yeah. It's because we've been speaking your colonial language 
And many of us don't understand it, but you don't hear us. When this guy speaks to the majority of, because it's the most spoken language in the country, mm. when he speaks to us, you have a problem. You realize that you've still got a racist undertones. Why can't he speak his Zulu? It's an official language. It's mm. the most spoken language. Why don't you know his Zulu? Because I know your English, as an example. Mm. A lot of that still holds, but I, I do think now that Malima doesn't believe in what he was saying as much. I do believe that the nationalization, we want the land, is in the same vein that the ANC was campaigning and fighting against apartheid. The way he lives his life, the way he moves, it's, it's personal. It's an individual. Many people defend him. Okay. But I would still prefer more. I mean, you've got Ulax. He's not a politician, but he still chooses to stay at us. Still chooses to be with the people. Omalima living a very, very affluent life. And... He almost, whether it's intentional or not, he mm. almost gets black people to have issues with Abilung. Yet he's comfortable and friends with Abilung in his personal capacity. Now, Nelson Mandela would be the same. In my personal capacity, these are my friends. You're like, but when it comes to crunch time, are you sure you're going to snub your friends for, and think for us seen, yeah. that voted for you? And chances are you might not. Because we don't know this guy's friends. We don't know his business associates. And the same way the ANC has given tenders and those things to their own circles, I'm only expecting the EFF to do the same. Number wow. one, because they're from the ANC Youth League. Number two, because I, I, I do think they're an ANC 2.0. Just younger. And then later on, when they get older, they're going to be like exactly those guys. to try and explain, guys, the situation is not like that. We mustn't be too aggressive. What mm. like, ah, but this is not who. And then we'll be looking for the next young. Again. Again. So I'm, I'm not comfortable and I'm not happy with the EFF. I don't want to give them my vote. Um, some of their decisions for some people have left a bitter taste in their mouth, giving some of their votes to ETA mm. uh, against the ANC because the ANC is arrogant, but history will judge us. And I'm like, ah, if you're willing to give the DA your votes here, just on principle, so nationally, what, what, would stop you, what would stop you from giving Ongamla your vote at any given time where it feels like the right thing to do against the wishes of your people? Yeah, I'm going to say that the point is to for the ANC not to be in power. So we do whatever it takes to agitate them. So, so that's, that's my thought. With the local elections at a municipal level, yeah. while I've been here, my favorite mayor has been Herman Mashabo, who was under the DA at the time. Joburg. Joburg, China's uh, Yeah, no. He <laughs> did. Yeah. I loved him. Yeah. He, he highlighted the buildings which to this day, people now campaign using that thing he was saying, Uti, they're high check buildings here, we need to sort them out. He'd be on the street and that, whatever, those police colored things, reflected jackets. Mm. He'd be there going to the buildings. He was a new kid on the block. He wasn't a politician. He stole our hearts. He was under the DA. We're like, ish. But we loved Herman, yeah. which could also explain why at some point, even the DA was like, hey, but you look like an EFF mayor because you keep listening to them. It's like, so I can't speak to these people yeah. who are our partners here at Guamaspal. I have to engage them. I'm not, I'm not, which is what Abu Sol have said before. I am not the president of, of, of the ANC or the president of black people. I'm the president of South Africa. So No Herman was like, I'm not the mayor of the DA. Aye. Or the mayor Baba. of the suburbs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the mayor of Johannesburg. Yeah. And part dope. of Johannesburg is some of these EFF guys and because we're trying to solve problems. Hmm. And the DA didn't like that. And they exposed that look, we're here for politics. Forget these funny things. But the work he did. And he started speaking aggressively about foreigners. Mm. Later on, other people like Otudula, Nabo Gaten would speak. But for me, when I started hearing this foreigners thing, I heard it with Herman Mashaba because there was xenophobic attacks, uh, so-called xenophobic attacks at that time. I wanted Herman to get his mayor ship back. So I voted for Action SA because I wanted Herman. Mm -hmm. I didn't want the DA. I didn't want Action. I wanted Herman. So I voted for Action SA there. In terms of my ward, I live in a DA ward. And on principle, I, I don't want to vote for the DA. So I spoiled my ballot. Okay. I voted DA, Action SA, ANC, EFF, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I voted for all of them. I spoiled my ballot. So it probably didn't count because I, I, I refused. With that being said, I... I but why do you still call it you voted? It, it's called voting. I spoiled my ballot, but it's, vo it's not like I did not vote. And it was, it's counted as a spoiled ballot. Isn't a vote 
Look, I might be asking a stupid question. Isn't a vote when it gets count like this person voted mm. for this party, so we want to put it in this EFF or DA or whatever. So when you spoil the ballot, why do you still call it a vote? Because it, it won't have the power to change who's going to come into power. Sure. So this is one of the things I've struggled with. Yeah. Let me finish that point. Sure. So as much as I didn't vote for the DA, our ward councillor is DA. Sure. I engage with that lady. Uh, I'm in the groups. I get involved in community work. So as much as I didn't vote for her, I'm still involved in my community. I can't be like, yeah. hi, that DA lady. What? No. Which was I have to was work doing. with whoever, yeah. you know. One of the things I've struggled with, because last year I said, I'm not going to vote. Spoil the ballot. Oh, I'm going to spoil my ballot. Yeah. Um, I was like, this is rubbish. The system is broken, mm. of which I still believe it's broken. And, and, and. I, I didn't do the numbers. Let me let me get these numbers for you quickly. Kind of the time. We're not going over that time we have there. Yeah. That's why we put in the wine time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want like, uh, yeah. No, So we had, we had, um, th they fall under invalid or blank. Oh. Which is then spoiled. Okay. Out of the 17.4 million that voted, uh, 235,000 at the last national election mm -hmm. was spoiled. And they count them. It's there. No, please hear. So just the 235,000 would put them at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's hectic. <laughs> but I'm saying, that, no, don't throw them away, but do research on they, it. They, like, they, they would you've be, got data they, now. They would be the sixth biggest party. They would have been the sixth biggest party with maybe maybe nine, eight seats. That is interesting. Spoiled. Do you know if they use that as some... Because for me, when I hear that, I'm like, there's research that needs to be done now. Because we've got 200 and something there's, thousand. There's do, meant, what do they do with there's it? There's meant to be research. So this is what oh. hurts me. Because if, <laughs> if, if we were told... <laughs> let, me, let me say this. If we were told that for every 45,000 mm. spoiled pellets... For every 45,000 spoiled ballots, yeah. there will be an empty seat in parliament. Ah, no one will sit there. The dynamics change now. I would spoil my ballot. I have every day. And I would get many people to be like, guys, spoil your ballot so that we, out of this 400, there's going to be 50 empty seats. Yeah. To be like, because it's about near Papa. So we want empty seats. And every time there's parliament, I'm like, you see those empty seats? That's me, Baba. Because in Katia, it is You know, the first time. I hear anyone speak about these poll pellets and they actually counted and we have a number. They counted. Yeah. The, pro the problem is they just ring fence and nothing happens. So when you spoil it, you almost didn't vote. Can't, why do people have the ideology that if you spoil your ballot, it goes to the biggest political party? Where does that come from? So it comes from um, pro rata. Okay. So 17.4 million minus the 200 whatever is 17 point whatever million. Yeah. So the real number of people that whose votes count. Mm. Sorry, let me just get you the exact number. The real number that counts, 17.4 million people voted. This is what I'm explaining about voted. Why Why do you say you voted? Yeah. It's because it gets counted as oh, you okay. voted. Um, no, I'm wrong. Sorry, it was 17.6 million total. Yeah. The ones that are counted is 17.4. So the 200 and whatever thousand, you take it to 17.6. Uh, mm. It's a. Oh, must we stick it up? Uh, leave it. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Ah, uh, it's not a you big deal. You can stick it up, G. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, bro. You keep it once. Ah, uh, you can stick it, bro. I don't think it's doing it. It's gonna drop anymore. again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Um. They they remove the two hundred thirty five, and then when they divide vote votes, they divide by the valid. Okay. So if ever you are the top political party, you'll get an extra. But it's not, that's why I get angry when people say, if you spoil your ballots, it's like you're voting for the ANC. Yeah. There's no such thing. Mm -hmm. It's not that those 235 seats go to, or the All to the ANC. Yeah. Go to the ANC. No, yeah. they get split based on however many people voted before. Intelligent people keep saying, if you spoil your ballot, you're voting for the ANC. And I'm like, that's the dumbest thing you can ever tell anyone. The vote, the, those votes don't count and the proportional remains almost the same. So because spoiled ballots mean nothing and all I'll ever be is a number on, oh, I was one of the guys that spoiled. It mm. does nothing. The IEC doesn't go into a deep dive and say, guys, we have a problem here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two, 
I told you 42.5% of eligible over 18 voters vote. That's excluding which, the, the which kids. Which means yeah. there's 67, 67.5%. 67 and a half percent of people who could vote don't, don't vote. vote and i'm like why do we not have a quorum how do you call this democracy how do you say this is what the people want when not even half of the people I voted. voted if we've got 40 million eligible voters why why don't you say if we don't get 20 million votes it can't be a valid election yeah. but we don't have that the constitution needs 75 percent so why not say with elections you need 75 percent of the people to vote for something or even spoil their ballots, otherwise it's not fair. Mm. It means in this country, even if 5 million people voted, they'd still consider it democracy, but that's what you guys want. Mm. 40 million people, and you're telling me 10 million want the ANC, out of 40 million. 10 million out of 62 million want the ANC, and you're gonna tell us this is what the people want. That's not accurate. And that's not true democracy. But then people are like, but this is why you must vote. And you're like, look, there's reasons why people don't vote. And but, we need to figure that out. So it's a question of, for understanding why people don't vote and putting a responsibility on the IEC and the political parties to get people to vote. So so I spoiled my ballot. Yeah. And it counts as a vote for that reason. Yeah. So you've got not voting. I didn't show up, whether you registered or not. Mm. I didn't vote. Yeah. You go there and you spoil your ballot. I voted. Yeah. But I spoiled. The sad thing is it's almost as if you didn't vote. Mm. And then there's voting for someone to what you're saying. I voted for these people. So I spoiled my, my word, what, what, but I wanted it to be spoiled. Yeah. Now there's looking to this, to this year. Uh, and before I, I say my piece, yeah, I think we'll hit for 15 minutes. That's fine. Yeah. Before I say my piece, um, I wanted to ask just very quickly and briefly your thoughts on, we've had Ubongani Baloy, Shiluba, here. Yes. We've had... Musi Maimani, yeah. previously with the DA, now he's yeah. built, <laughs> built one South Africa, Borsa. Borsa. We've obviously had Gaten McKenzie here. Yeah. It's his second national elections, Patriotic Alliance. Uh, we've had Vuyo Zungula, African Transformation Movement, ATM. Yeah. Two seats, uh, they going hard there. Uh, we've had Mpota Gada, new kid on the block. Yeah. Arise SA. Yeah. Uh, have we had anyone else? I think that's all. No, that's it. I think that's it. I think that's right. So, uh, one of the people that I'm hoping will get soon, because he was meant to come here last year, but there was scheduling issues. Um, Songhez or Zibi of Rise Mzansi. Mm. And I've been meeting a lot of progressive, well off black people saying they're going to vote for him uh, with the Rise Mzansi. Uh, he wrote a book called Manifesto, which I think ooh, Rob Herself, when he came here, he gifted me. I just that's haven't oh, had a chance to read it. Like, oh, okay. hey, I'd like you to read this book. Um, We've got now the new re newly released MK, Nkonto mm. Isizwe, where Uzuma's campaigning, but we still don't know the leadership. And he can't yet. be president. And he can't be president, according right. to the constitution, because yeah. of his conviction. Um, am I forgetting anyone? Am I forgetting anyone? The new, new, Who else is new? New. ACT, <sighs> African Congress for Transformation, Ace Mahashule, who are going to be working oh, together with the MK. Yeah. Um, Duduzane? To Tuzani Zuma. He hasn't officially launched, but we're all he thinking. He hasn't officially yeah? launched. I spoke to him last week. Yeah. Um, and he told me that they're going to do a launch soon. Because okay. he was planning to run as an independent. This is going to be the first elections, national elections, where independents are allowed to run. Yeah. But no, we haven't had him here. I've had him on my own platform when I was in Cape Town, Dr. Michael Louis. And the work he's been trying to do to get independents to come in. Because it was unconstitutional to force people to have to register a political party. Yeah. And they've won... But the conditions to run as an independent are so strenuous yeah. Yeah. that it's not worth it. Tutuzano is going to run as an independent. He's chosen to register a party. I spoke to him last week. He said they're launching soon. And then I spoke to people in his team. Their name is AGC. All game changes. That's going to be the name. Are you officially dropping this? Because it's going to be a big thing, you know, I get it. So one of the people in his team dropped it a day or two ago. Okay. Because I wanted to drop it. And he said, look, you can drop it, but it's coming anyways. Okay. Um, You've just given them mileage. Very, very strategic. Because AGC means it's going to be high up on the ballot. Because it's put in alphabetical order. A-G-A-N, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. Sure. If, you, if your pen slips. <laughs> slips. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Sure. Um, all game changes to Tuzane Zuma. Are we forgetting anyone? Who else has been loud? 
Hey, I apologize if we're forgetting. Um, I wanted to ask your thoughts on some of these guys that have been here, some of these new parties. Yeah. And then maybe we can add Action SA because, um, yeah, for all intents and purposes, they're still sort of new and they're also, yeah. they're also quite loud and they, and they yeah, push man. it. You know, I mean, out of everyone that you mentioned, because I'm just going to go with the people that have been here. I don't think no one comes close to Gaten, eh? Ah, Gaten, there's something about Gaten, man, that... Uh, that is Roman fire. Roman Mashaba, by the way, is confirmed. He's going to come through. Okay, so we're well, going to have him soon. Okay. Hey, we yeah. need to figure out when we're dropping this app now because now mixing the names. But, yeah, no, there's something about... There's something about people who, who are actually doing. You're not just talking. You're not telling us, I was in this committee. I was advising the president. I was. I was. That's shade. Are you shading on Paul? Takadadi. No, no, no. What, what I'm saying is most people were in some committee... They were there telling people what to do sure. and they've experienced. People, people love them poor episode, by the way. It, 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 did we, you, we gave him proper mileage. His campaign. The streets are like. Ben Kurman was season. Guy, Yesterday, Nibuani season. I, I think your episode with him is their campaign. What what? <laughs> that, and well, I think they, keep taking, they keep taking <laughs> clips. <laughs> the whole of Twitter. It's 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 you and, sure. you and him speaking. But what, what I love about Ukaitin, but it's it's it's. it's I'm in it, and I can show you now. Like I'm, I will show you the Zamazamas now. We can live here now. I'll show you where they where they are now sure. and what we've been able to do. People that have action, man. I mean, I, I just, out of everyone that has come here, Gaten for me is a guy that has really uh, caught my eye. Th this guy has served, uh, and he speaks so well, and I like him. It's just maybe he lacks that fire. Which we we almost wanted that level because you're gonna be arguing with all Julius, you're gonna be arguing oh, with flames. Eh? You know what I mean? Bongani <laughs> uh, Baloi, who used to be yeah. under the DA, and he's he's Pan African. He's got a great mind, great story with the Shiluba. Number one, the Shiluba name, which is it's got an X and a V, especially for the Ngunis who are very tribalist at times. Allegedly. <laughs> Uh, supposedly, supposedly, <laughs> according to research and stats, <laughs> the Gunis are tribalist. They might have an issue with that name on its own, you know. As an example, Tahin Manjelesi Votel Ayola. Bongani Baloya is pretty great. Uh, Musi, we know he's got a track record and he's brilliant. I just don't know how well he's going to do. No, no, I, I don't think the track record people are actually going to vote for. I think the politics in SA is so different, man. If you're a Musi, we don't see a lot in the streets, man. It's hard for us to believe. Whereas him and Muna, him and we saw what that guy did. Like, we saw him, you know? Sure. And I guess they were in different positions. That's another sure. thing. And I need to be fair, you know? The positions that Musi was in and him and were in were completely different. Me and I just love people who actually do it. They you, go you, out know, there you know what it. I'd like to see, ideally? Yeah. I'd like to see all the people who are speaking about sitting in parliament. Oof. And that's part of the issue I have with um, our current system where you're forced to only pick one and then it makes it seem like you don't like others. Yeah. And this is what I was trying to emphasize with the 400 seats. That if these guys are being discussed, if we speak about Isma Khashule, Tutuzani Zuma, if we speak about... They, at the very least, should all be sitting in parliament. Then yeah. we should... Because there are so many parliamentarians we don't know from... A, let me tell you this website. This is a... There's another political. Problem. Hey, by the way, for people that don't know, th this website actually has their personal contact details. It has their personal. It, I think it has their phone number and their email address. I go for numbers. W <laughs> www.parliament.gov.za. <laughs> www.parliament.gov.za. So you you go into the thing. I wish this was a page. I wish this was a paid plug. Uh, there's a there's a thing here for. Uh, our people, members what? of parliament, uh -huh. uh, members of the National Assembly. So when you go to this thing, you can see from here, but people will watch at home. Yeah. It's called the alphabet, in alphabetical, alphabetical order, order, their names. And you're going to go down the list and see human beings you've never heard of in your life. They are the quiet ones there in Parliament. In your, who, <laughs> you know, I think I'm so And when you look at some of these people representing the ANC, the IFP, you're like, how long am I with the ANC? Yeah, mm. You're like, what the hell, bro? People you've never heard of in your life. And mm. these people, 
sit in parliament and have to make decisions. And the people we're discussing now won't get to sit in parliament. Andy Lemnitam is not sitting in parliament, yeah. as an example. Mm. But then you want to be like, this guy is a great leader. And, and But now, when, when you have to vote between a grant or I want good governance because I live in the suburb, the DA, look, I like Herman, they're multiracial. Look, hey, I'm not pan African. So, hey, now you can't support these other O's. And you're like, to be honest, I'd like to see all these O's there. Actually, you're right, because there isn't one that is truth, you know. So we actually need every single one of them in there. We need to. We used to have constituency-based yeah. voting during apartheid where people would vote almost for an area. You know, like you vote for a ward councillor. And if they are f they'll, you'll find an area of 45,000 people. So yeah. I was saying about 45,000 for a seat. As soon as we get a circumference of 45,000, like you guys vote for an individual to represent Lekas Lil. That's what Lux wants. And then that person goes and sits out of the 400. And then you go to another place, 45,000. Same. So that at any given time when you're discussing education, load shedding, that person who tabs are like, hey, Baba, the parliament is not going to be able to do it. Kandi, why are we voting for you? Because mm. right now what we do is we vote for a political party and it's got a party list. And you'll find that on that party list, the guys sitting in parliament are, all live here. Hey. They live in Santon, they live Morningside, they live in Bryanston. Some maybe might be based in the East Rand, Boxburg. Some, they're all here. They're not on the ground there. And then when you want to speak about Patem Tanzane, eh, Patem Kukule, Patem Nambiti, they don't know what you're talking about. They'll only come there to campaign. That's all that make those remarks. Like, in my province, there's no pothole. You're like, huh? So, so <laughs> constituency-based yeah. was mm. almost similar to what we're saying, Wuti. All the visible guys should get a seat. Yeah, I know. Even if it was an honorary yeah. seat, Wuti, you've made such a wave yeah. on social media and the streets. I would like to give you an honorary seat to mm -hmm. come to parliament, even if it's not all the time. People out there would like to hear your views on how to run the country. If not that, then it's like, can you guys group yourselves in wards or whatever of 50,000, maybe maybe 100,000, because not everyone's going to vote. Yeah. Every 100,000, and then you guys pick one leader, and that leader is going to represent you in parliament. There they can aside with a political party and a certain ideology, but at the end of the day, you're like, you are from my hood, and if you're not going to speak and represent our interests there, we want you gone, Baba. We're recalling you. Mm -hmm. We're sending someone else. Martiwa mm -hmm. Tumamina. So Tumamuntu, as soon as they get to parliament, they're like, but your worship, they in uh, Rosebank were struggling. Their pipes have broken and the Department of P Public Works and Water, what are you like? Yes, yes. Isn't that what the NC was supposed to be, but at a greater scale and like 10 million people voting, 11 million people voting? It's it's too big, okay. and and you and you get swallowed. Okay. I mean, if, and if you look at even the infighting when they have to vote for a president, hey, it's so broken and it's it's so because mind you, with the NC, there's branches, right? Then the branches vote and they I don't know how the system works. Then they send what what, and then those reps, some of them they end up making the the delegation for a conference. It's hard to know. Totally tanked. We are we conference the NC so being vote. Mm. They get there, and then when they get there, some of them get bribed, some get promised what, but you're meant to be sent there by your branches Whoever. to go represent. And then you guys come back and tell us, I'm a fit to Ramaposa. Oh. Mm. 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 As the leadership. Yeah. We, we realize <laughs> that that's the best. Yeah. And the NEC there, and you're like, I don't know if this person represents Do you know this? at the crown level. This book, uh, I learned about it the last week. One of our clients wants to shoot some video and we're just being about politics. There's a book called Eight Days in September. I don't know. Hey. That is uh, Frank Chicana. I think it's written by Frank Chicana. Sure. The Fall of Tabumbek. Baramuna, he literally speaks about actually what happened. Uh, Kopolukwan. The days removal of Tabumbek. Yeah, Frank yeah, yeah. Chicana. Ah. Eight Days in September. Eh, eh. You've read it? No, I haven't. This client oh. of ours was telling us about it. He was like, "This is a, it, it's a movie. This thing." I think this guy speaks out bags flying like two days before. We're like, "No, we're voting for uh, Tawumbek." It's done. No, no, within two hours, things are, are changing. Well, he says he speaks have... about those things. How people are just getting bags in jail. Like now, we're gonna vote now. So when you when you hear those things, you're like, hey, 
Nje tina we just had to fall in German match in German. It's 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 disheartening. It's the, like the, NC, the NC used to have a Premier League. Do you remember? It's my hey, the the Gidi, people Gidi Mabuza and yeah. Umalanga yeah. and then there was Northwest Supra. Mahumapilo. Supra's gone. Didi Mabuza we don't know where he is. One of the most quiet <laughs> deputy presidents ever. Namanje quiet. But he says anything. He didn't even attend now in Pumala. Ah We don't know where that O is. <laughs> and then Esma Khashula, of course, was kicked out because the SG manages with Figile. I want a DD in Dona. I'd love to see no DD, yes. And just listen to him. Hey, we don't know. We don't know. How can I have him, man? But very interesting, eh? Gaten. Yeah. Out of everyone we've had here, I think Gaten is dope, man. I, I, He speaks uh, normal, man. You know, there, there are people. Nine oh, there What? Are, sorry? Nine months. Oh, there are people who who speak like you, man. They speak and sound like you can you can relate, man. Sure. We don't have to worry about it. But the other ones is like, hey, man, you must... He used to be very pro Zuma. Yeah. 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 And then the ex-convict tag is something that a lot of people don't like. Those are the people you must vote for. How? No, no, what I'm saying is, you know, but in, in, in society, we need to understand that people have to go through whatever they need to go through. It's experience. It's like there to say to you, which business person are you going to fund? Is it going to be the first person that's starting their business and their business model is amazing or a businessman that has failed 10 times? Sure. You want to go with the guy that's failed 10 times? F for me, that sure. makes more sense. So I would get and understand the struggle. It's not something that's... No. Sure. I know this thing. I know what happens now in Rikha Park. I know. Sure. It's not a myth. So people who have a lived experience, for me, man, I, I have a soft spot for them. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll pick up on this and then we'll start unpacking some of the issues. I'll probably go do some reading myself to see if we can educate or bring some people in. Um, as much as I bash them, because I do, and part of bashing them is because I love them for so long. Yeah. And if ever ANC people get upset that we bash the ANC and they don't understand that it's because we used to vote for them. These are our fathers, our mothers, our grandfathers, our grandmothers, and we're angry. You, you, you as Umtom Nyama should never be comfortable to watch your family break down and then still support out of loyalty. You have to call them to account. And some of us are getting older. We are going to be the elders very soon. Mm -hmm. And they're going to ask at some point, but why didn't you guys say anything? No, Fetu Pela. Oh, Fetu Kongo lost in Fetu of my grandparents. You're like, nah. <laughs> With all of that and all my judging, and I call them names all the time. I swear at them and those things. But it would be nice if we can get some ANC people here. Yeah. It's almost necessary. I hope they honor the invite, some of yeah. them. I hope if they don't, it's okay. They big. <laughs> We saw the numbers. They almost don't need us. Uh, it would be nice to get some EFF guys here. Uh -huh. I'd love to sit with Julius. Um, if he doesn't come, it's chilled. I could sit with anyone else. Yeah. Um, if they don't want to come as well, that's okay. But oh, yeah. if some of their leadership sees this episode, I hope they send it through that out of sincerity and without a desire to bash or ridicule, just to give them a platform to chat, maybe take some questions from me. Yeah raise some of the issues that I have, that some of the people have had, um, especially in a political year, uh, a voting year at least. Mm. Um, yeah, ANC, EFF, and then of course the DA as well. Where well, we've we've had anyone from DA? No, we haven't. The oh, top three, it's because, it's because they make me angry. I've, I've, I've not gone out to invite them, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I have to. Yeah. And then it's up we to them to. to either honor the invite or to be like, I don't want to see I mean, your small anya on a podcast, Hey, but you know who we are, Chief. <laughs> Telling us about a small anya and a podcast. You want us for views and numbers. That's got that small anya and a thing. No, Chief. No, Chief. You can't call us to come and boost your, your, your ratings, Chief. No, no, no. Take yeah. us serious. And they're going to want us to go to their houses to do this this in, this convo with them. But we'll which, see. Which is okay. Yeah. Hey, gents, we're out. Homo to Thanks, gents. Yeah.